Hey everybody, Robert here, uh, letting you know that I'm doing the AIDS Life Cycle Ride in California in June. It's a 545 mile day bike ride over seven days, benefiting two agencies in California, the San Francisco AIDS Foundation and the LGBT Center of Los Angeles. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about why this ride is so important to me, and I'm going to ask for your financial support in doing this ride as well. If you haven't donated already, there's going to be a link above or below this video, or you can go to whyiriteproject.org. Thank you so much for listening to my story and for supporting me and this cause, which means so much to all of us. My name is Robert, and I ride to contribute. In more detail, could you please tell me why you're doing AIDS Life Cycle? Uh, I've never known a world without HIV and AIDS, um, but it had never really struck a quarter hit home until about three years ago. And uh, within a year span, two friends of mine became uh, HIV positive and shared that, um, shared that information with me in a pretty intimate way. And it did change my life and it also made me kind of reflect a little bit on where I was at in life. and. Things that I was doing that um, maybe weren't in my best interest, and I didn't even know it. And I, um, so, kind of unbeknownst to me, I sort of uh, took on this responsibility of putting a team together to do the Red Ribbon Ride last summer. And I had no idea that it was going to change my life in such a profound way. Doing the ride, being a part of that community, really meant something. And. Um, setting those goals and making those goals and then um, just physically pushing myself and realizing that I, I could do this. Can you tell me your favorite thing about doing fundraising rides and so far uh, your experience with doing AIDS rides? Um, day one on that first ride, I really thought I'm not cut out for this. Um, and then by the end of that day and the days that came after just you know, I realized my own inner strength and power and the community that was around me kind of cheering for me, um, both within the ride community as well as my friends and family who I never expected in my wildest dreams would be supporting me financially and with posts on Facebook. Um, so when the time came and I got back from the Red Ribbon Ride and the, the pink cloud, of all of that. Um, it didn't take long before I was on the phone and I was registering uh, to do the AIDS life cycle ride. What is one thing that you have learned about HIV and AIDS that you have learned from doing these rides? I've learned a lot about um, what's important from the time you first find out that you are positive um, in getting uh, medical attention. Um, and if you're not positive, what things are you doing that are preventative um, to keep you negative as well. What is your fundraising goal for AIDS Life Cycle? My fundraising goal is $5,000 and I'm currently at $3,200. All right, so uh, the ride's coming up. How, what creative ways are you going to reach that goal? Hey, you're looking at it. I'm right here. I'm telling you my story and I'm asking you, please help me get to that last $1,800 toward my ride. Is, is there anything else you would like to say to the community either here in Minnesota or to the new community in California or to anyone else that is watching this video and willing to donate? Well, I would say first donate and then if you can get involved and getting involved can be very simple. It could be volunteering, uh, crewing, ride, come ride with me.